blue collar guns and gear. Yeah, I'm just driving on the highway on my way home from South Georgia. It's about a two hour drive one way to, uh, to my property in South Georgia where I, I deer hunt and shoot and camp out and goof off. Anyway, I'm just sitting here, you know, driving up 85 northbound in LaGrange, Georgia at the moment. And I'm thinking about steel cased ammo. And I'm wondering how many of you shoot steel cased ammo. And if you do, good for you. But if you do not, what is going on? Why's everybody hitting their brakes? I mean, it's only 2.30 in the afternoon, but this is Georgia and you're gonna have traffic within an hour of Atlanta, period. Anyway. If you shoot steel cased ammo, good for you. If you do not, why not? It's cheap. It's fairly accurate. And it's very reliable. Now, I don't care if, if it's a pistol or a rifle. I do not see the point um, if you're training or if you're just shooting a lot or if you're stockpiling for the zombie apocalypse or what it, whatever it is. I see no reason not to stockpile or shoot or whatever, steel cased ammo in any gun. I think steel cased ammo is, is, is the way of the future for the blue collar gun people. It, it's gotten to the point now to where I mostly shoot steel cased ammo out of my rifles and my pistols. Uh, about the only thing, I will, I will shoot brass out of my pistols. Uh, sometimes I can find it for really, you know, really cheap almost as cheap as steel case and when I when I do find those deals I, I usually try to jump on them but I'm, uh, I'm shooting a lot of steel case pistol ammo nowadays too and it's all of, it's the only thing I've ever shot out of my AKs and ARs I, I'm shooting it out of ARs now um, some people think that ARs are, are, are not compatible with steel cased ammo and that's just not true. Um, it, they're not as compatible maybe as an AK. The thing is, is the way the chambering is on an AR, um, the lacquer coating and all on steel cased ammo, it will not stick in the barrel. The bullets don't just automatically stick from overheating, uh, but when the barrel gets hot, and you have a round chambered and you know the, the barrel is very very hot and you, and you set the gun aside for a few minutes and there's still one chambered that is when the lacquer will stick you know to the inside of the barrel and you'll have a stuck bullet or stuck casing in there so if you're gonna if your gun is hot and you're gonna set it aside for a little while just uh, just eject the round and that's all you have to do uh, but I see no reason why a a AR shooters cannot shoot for the same price as AK shooters because steel cased ammo for ARs is just as cheap and in some cases even cheaper. I saw a special this week on Golden Tiger AR ammo. It was 223. It was not 556. It was 223, but it's it's excellent steel cased ammo and. It was cheaper than the 7.62x39. This was an online deal that I saw. I think it's sold out now. Uh, I told a few people about it and they were buying it up because they're smart. They understand that $219 is a fair price for a thousand rounds of 223. It's a lot more fair of a price than 319 or 349 or whatever it is you're paying for brass case. Uh, brass case, you know, it has its advantages, I guess. Um, 
you know, it's not going to stick to the to the barrel or whatnot. But I, I don't know. I, I just don't see any reason why you would not shoot steel cased ammo. Steel cased is not going to hurt the internals of your gun if that's what you're thinking. Um, the, the extractor on your gun is made out of a steel that is way harder than the steel case, um, you know, casings from from a, a shell. Um, those those uh, those casings are soft in comparison, and you have to have a harder steel to actually damage steel. You know, to damage steel, you've got to have a harder steel to cause damage. So it's not going to do that. Now, some people say that the steel core bullets, not the casings, the bullets, will damage a rifle barrel. Okay, they may over a course of 10 to 15,000 rounds they may damn you know cause a barrel to shoot out quicker but i mean how many of you people shoot 10,000 rounds in in a year or two years or even three years or even a lifetime some guys don't shoot 10,000 rounds in their entire life um it's not going to wear the barrel out any sooner than 10 to 15,000 rounds and for the money that you saved by shooting all steel cased ammo during during that period of time, um, I mean you're talking you're going to save a minimum a minimum of a hundred dollars per thousand rounds. So that's at least a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred dollars. Again, at a minimum that you're saving. I mean you could buy how many barrels with the money that you saved. Not to mention. Uh, extractors. If you think the steel casings are going to damage your extractors, uh, how many extractors can you buy with the savings that you that you picked up from shooting steel cased ammo? The stuff is accurate. I mean, it's, it shoots very accurate, and, and it's clean. If you get, you know, certain ones are a little dirtier than others, but certain brass ammo is a little bit dirtier than others too, and. It's just, it's, it's a much better deal. And I think that more people are starting to open up now to steel cased ammo. I've been shooting it for years and years because it's cheap. It allows me to shoot a lot more. It allows me to stockpile a lot more. And I just, I wanna get this out there. I just want people to understand that steel cased ammo is a good thing. Fear not, my friends, it, it's a good thing. And I don't know why more guys are not catching on and shooting it. Um, this is an election year. This is 2016, and this is mid-July. And I'm not the type. I don't want to see the steel case ammo dry up because I love it. I like to buy it. I like to shoot it. But I won't. You know, if you need ammo, I mean, go for the go for whatever you can get. And the the, the steel case ammo is good to go. I'm telling you guys. I've shot countless thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds of wolf, of golden tiger, of brown bear, uh, all good ammo, even Tula. And you know, Tula really is probably my least favorite, but yet it's probably the most common because you can find it in Walmart or different places. And But it still runs fine. Tula ammo still runs fine, although it's a little bit dirtier than the rest. That's the only reason I don't like it quite as much but I'll shoot it no problem so anyway whether it's pistol whether it's rifle steel cased ammo is good to go I shoot a lot of steel cases out of my pistols I shoot a nothing but steel cases out of my rifles other than my you know my hunting rifle it's a 270 and you know, I have a couple of 270s and I, mean, I always shoot brass out of those but I mean I can get uh, you know I don't ever see the steel cased ammo in 270. Um, you know, I can go to Walmart or wherever and grab a couple of boxes of Federal Blue Box or whatever, the cheap stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to get this out there. I was, I'm bored driving home and I know this, this, uh, this video may suck as far as the footage goes. Um, but anyway, it's just, it's just a good idea, fellas, to think about. Steel cased ammo is good to go. I highly recommend it. 
it's way cheaper and it's fine so anyway thank you for tuning in and i'm going to get back to driving have a great day y'all come see us